Hello and welcome to another video on the Mark 7 Golf GTD. In this video I wanted to show you some of the features of the Mark 7 Golf that may not be so obvious and I hope you find one you didn't know about. I've stumbled across a few hidden treasures over the years and there is one in particular that I had no idea about until about a year after I bought this car. Yes, a whole year. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I've owned this car from new, which is about 8 years now. And like you, I'm always curious to find out more about these underrated motoring icons. This 2015 Golf is packed with a host of gadgets, features and attention to detail such as active cruise control, sat nav, front and rear parking sensors and more. I could go through them all, but to save boring you, I thought I'd just show you a few of my top surprising and what I think are very useful features that not everyone may know about. It would also be great to see some of the top features you may have uncovered in the comments. Maybe it's something fairly unknown as well, or something you were blissfully unaware of and discovered later. Okay, so let's crack on with our first feature. And who would have thought you'd be watching someone washing their windscreen? However, if you have a Golf and wash your windscreen like this, then I'm here to tell you that there is a much easier way. Introducing the wiper service mode which will sweep your wipers up to a vertical position on your windscreen like this. And then it is super easy to clean your windscreen and also, if you ever need to, change your wiper blades. I confess, I didn't know about this little trick until a few months in. So how do you do this? It's pretty simple once you know. All you need to do is switch the car on and off like so. There's no need to actually start the engine and then push the wiper stalk down and release. And voila! Your wipers will move into the service mode position like this. How good is that? To reset them, just switch on the car and give the wiper stalk a push. Feature number two is like a game of hide and seek in the glove box. I don't know if you know, but there's a sneaky little vent tucked away underneath the infotainment system, just here. It's difficult to film as it's a bit awkward to access, which is probably one of the reasons why this feature can be a surprise to suddenly discover. Turning the vent to the on position will keep things nice and cool using the air conditioning. Have you ever used this cooling vent? In a minute, I will show you some other external features, but first to my third feature, which I have to say was hidden from me for a year until one day I went to adjust my driver's seat and noticed a handle. So here we have the secret under seat drawer which is compact and discreet but big enough to tuck a few things away for privacy and security. Oh, and perfect for hiding snacks. What I like about this drawer is it doesn't feel flimsy. It has a quality feel and opens and closes really smoothly. Did you know this was a feature on your Golf? Out of interest, I've heard that this under seat drawer may have been discontinued on the Mark 7.5. I wonder if this is the case. Now. Here's a life-saving tip for avoiding scuffed alloys if you haven't discovered it already, with feature number four. Did you know that if you set your wing mirror to the right setting, the passenger side wing mirror will gracefully dip whilst parking? To do this, make sure your wing mirror selector is switched to the passenger side setting. And then when you go into reverse gear, you will see this. When you shift back to neutral or a forward gear, the mirror resets itself back to where you had it. Some golf owners may be lucky enough to have the reversing camera as an option, but if not, I think this is such a handy thing to know about. Stepping outside and before moving on to one of my favourite features, I wanted to show you a quick and simple fifth feature. Look at this, a little fuel or gas cap holder built into the fuel filler flap. Most cars have something like this and it's a nice little touch to save you from that fuel filler cap juggling act. The thing is, I've seen plenty of people not using this nifty little feature, so I had to give it a mention. And now, number six, which as I mentioned has got to be one of my absolute favourites and so, so useful. You can open and close all four windows at once. How good is that? And this sorcery is all done via a wave of the key fob. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. 
You can open and close all four windows at once by holding down the unlocking pad on your key fob to open. You hold down the locking pad to close. It's as easy as that. If you hold and release the key fob pad in either direction, you can stop and start the windows as well. This feature should also open and close a sunroof if you have one. I think this is a super handy tip to know, especially before you get in the car on a scorching summer's day. I try and film all my videos in natural light and the sun is a bit low in the sky today causing all sorts of reflections and glare. So here's feature number seven. What happens if all of a sudden you have a dead key fob battery and your Golf just won't open? Maybe you've been ignoring that low key battery warning for far too long. Like most cars, there's a way out and for the Golf it goes like this. Flip open your key and feel around underneath the driver's door handle for a slot. The key will fit in this slot nicely and then you just need to gently wiggle off the blanking piece like so. With this removed you will then be able to open your car door manually. But what if your car won't start with such a low battery? Usually there's just enough power for your key to talk to the car. So hold the key on the start button and start the car. If this doesn't work, there's a little known feature on the steering column where an old style ignition barrel would have been located years ago. Look for a key symbol underneath the stalk on the steering column and hold your key on there and start your car. Still no luck? Well, I've left a link to my one minute easy key fob battery change tutorial below which will definitely help out in these situations. We're getting to the end of this video now. And my last feature has made the cut, mainly because I think it is such a nice touch and makes any GTD look pretty swanky in the dark. I just love the wing mirror puddle lights. They are like a secret little helper illuminating your path as you get in and out of the car. As you can see, they illuminate once the wing mirrors have unfolded. They also come alive when I turn off the car and get out. It's a nice touch along with the other comfort lights inside the car at night. So, you've made it to the end of this video about the Mark 7 Golf GTD, which is not just a car, but a treasure trove of surprises. I really hope you have discovered some features you didn't know existed. And, as I mentioned previously, why not let me in on the comments if you've uncovered other hidden treasures on your Golf? Until the next time, it's a good night from us, and please don't forget to hit subscribe and like. Thank you.